What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at this delicious sweet potato hash breakfast skillet. You guys are definitely in for a treat. This is one of my absolute favorites. To start out, you're gonna need a nice sharp knife. I got this from Dalstrong. You can get yours as well for 10% off by using the code word make it happen at checkout. Go ahead and chop those ends off your potatoes and peel them up. We're also gonna need two sweet potatoes. Look at the hands. The boy played a little tight end in high school. Two sweet potatoes and one yellow onion along with one russet potato. Go ahead and chop the ends off of those sweet potatoes and peel them up as well. Not 100% necessary. Technically, you could leave the skin on, so do whatever you feel like. I went ahead and peeled them up. There we go. Now we're gonna cut them into about half inch thick slices. And once we do that, we're gonna quarter the potatoes. So just take your time, be careful. Make sure your knife is nice and sharp. Dull knives typically lead to cutting yourself. So always sharpen your knife either before or after each use. There we go. Looking at about half inch cubes there. Just want nice bite sized pieces. Try to make sure they're all even so they cook evenly as well. That's super important. You don't want some uh, tender potatoes and then some that aren't all the way cooked. So the more even you slice them, the better your dish will be. Sweet potatoes have a higher fiber content, which is why a lot of people say they're healthier for you, but that also makes them a little bit more difficult to chop. There we go, all diced up and pretty. We're gonna start with one pound of all natural Jimmy Dean sausage. Whatever your favorite breakfast sausage is, you can use that here. At this point, we just wanna crumble it up with our hands and then get in there with our wooden spatula. Try to develop a little bit of crust on this sausage. Crust equals flavor. Looking good so far. Once your sausage is cooked through, take a slotted spoon and remove it. Leave behind that fond and that uh, sausage grease. We're gonna add a little bit of avocado along with that chopped onion and one chopped jalapeno pepper. The jalapeno is optional, but it does add a little bit of kick, which I personally like. Once your vegetables are nice and tender, we're gonna take that same slotted spoon and remove those veggies as well. Saving them for later. You can season them a little bit with a little garlic, onion powder, salt and pepper. There's plenty of salt in the sausage, so I chose not to season them. I'll season everything later once everything is incorporated together. Going in with my sweet potato and my russet potato, a little bit more avocado oil. You can use olive oil or vegetable oil if that's what you got, no big deal. Make sure they're coated nicely in that oil and that sausage grease. like so season them up a little bit with some salt pepper garlic powder onion powder real basic stuff all-purpose seasoning at this point next one of my key ingredients is roasted garlic base from the better than bouillon brand this stuff has a ton of flavor super concentrated absolutely delicious i highly recommend you guys checking it out you can find it at most grocery stores in the chicken broth or chicken stock aisle you want to develop a little bit of color or caramelization on those potatoes so let them do their thing for about two to three minutes up to five minutes depending on how hot your skillet is and then take that wooden spatula and move everything around make sure things are cooking evenly going in with a little saison I know Goya is canceled. This was shot before that happened, so pardon me. Some smoked paprika. Another optional ingredient. I like the smokiness that it brings. Adds a little nice color as well. Some chopped parsley. Feel free to use whatever seasoning you like on your potatoes. I like to keep it pretty traditional. Adding a little Italian seasoning. At this point, your home is gonna be smelling like Thanksgiving Day. This is one of my favorite breakfast dishes when we have a lot of company. So like the holidays, get everybody together, make a big breakfast skillet like this. 
nice and easy, feeds a bunch of people. Perfect when you have company. So we're adding back in that sausage along with the cooked onion and jalapeno. Mix everything together, let those flavors marry or have a summer fling, whatever your thing is, I'm not judging. Taste as you go and season appropriately. All the specific ingredients as always are in the description below, so check it out. Next, we're gonna add some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Fresh is best, but if you got the store-bought stuff, no big deal, throw that in there. Feel free to use whatever cheese you like. I like Parmesan on this, but cheddar would work as well. This is one of those dishes you can clean out all the additional ingredients you got in your fridge. Just throw it together. Now I'm making a nice little pocket for my eggs. The eggs, again, are optional, but they really take this uh, skillet up to the next level. Really make it a one pan dish. But if you don't like fried eggs, you can always make a side of scrambled eggs and bacon. Do it up nice. Just your kitchen, do your thing. Into those little pockets, we're gonna crack eggs, let them nestle in there beautifully, and then pop it back in the oven until those eggs are cooked through. Only takes about five to eight minutes usually, depending on how well done you like your eggs. I like mine sunny side up, slightly runny, like so. Perfectly cooked. We're going in with a little bit more Parmesan cheese because why the hell not? Just a nice thin layer. And of course, some fresh parsley to give it a nice pop of color. You eat with your eyes first. And brace yourselves for the trademark money shot. Man, that looks good. Can't wait for you guys to try this one. It's one of my favorite breakfast dishes. Share it with your family and loved ones. Hope you guys enjoy the recipe. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.